it's a very emotional moment for the whole react ecosystem my dear friends because our most beloved create react app has now been deprecated so if you are starting to create a new project if you are planning to build a new project then you will no longer be using create react app to build your new projects if you try to use create react app you will get a very big warning something like this right if you try to install create react app because create react app has been deprecated in the official website of create react app and the official github repository they have also marked everything as deprecated so if you'll go to create react app official website then you will see it deprecated and also on their github repository on 14th february on the valentines day right react officially announced it in a blog and they said goodbye to the create react app why did they deprecated create react app and what is the way of building react apps in future that is what we will discuss in this video so let's just today get started in 2016 create react app was born and it made the developers life very very easy everybody who used to start a new project was using create react app and in fact the react official documentation also started recommending create react app to create new react apps now it became very very popular because during that time almost around 8 or 9 years back things like hot reloading setting up the projects were very very tough and create react app made the life easy by just one command line right by just entering one command into the terminal you used to create a whole new big project and on the hot reloading live server your app was locally ready to start development that one command used to create the whole project there was nothing required for any setup and the developers can start writing code and start building project that was a very big achievement and that is why create react app became very popular and it was a go to choice for every developer to create a front end project and let me tell you create react app also played a very major role in adoption of react applications because you know it was so easy to create a front end project using create react app that everybody started using react and it created a very big wave of the react community who were building front end projects using react js and you know uh, if you are working or if you have ever built a react projects like 3 4 years back then probably you would have definitely used npx create react app command to create your new project it was that popular and create react app was such you know uh, is very close to my heart because i have used it a lot right now when it is uh, now when we are saying goodbye to create react app it really makes me emotional i am not sure about yours but if create react app was this popular then why are they actually deprecating it let me tell you my dear friends so see if you have to build a production ready application then create react app is not enough you need a lot more things lot more libraries lot more build tools to create a production ready application if you want to make it today okay so if you are making a production ready application then you would definitely need a way for data fetching isn't it right data fetching is not easy you would need some libraries to make data fetching easier for you then you would definitely need server side rendering if you are doing some kind of seo because see front end application seo plays a very important role so if you want to do something server side rendered if you want to improve the performance then you need server side rendering and that was not possible using create react app that is why you know that was again a big problem for a production ready application then the third thing was routing routing was a very very big important thing because see every front end developer or every front end application needs routing in place because you would definitely need a lot of pages lot of urls lot of url paths to maintain a front end projects so routing becomes another big bottleneck in create react app because it did not have its own router and you need to depend on some external libraries to build your own routing patterns and strategies and there were lot more issues like authentication accessibility and there are so many things that are required to build a production ready application okay and create react app is not enough to handle all of it that is why now react has started recommended recommending this 
framework right basically they are saying that if you are building a production ready application then you should definitely see encouraging existing apps to migrate to a framework okay so react official documentation says that okay if you are building a new app now go to a framework don't use create react app or you know don't try to get into that hustle of pulling out libraries and building stuff right so basically just use a framework and that will make your life easy that is what react officially recommends now so this is one way the second way is to migrate to a build tool like wheat parcel or rs build so see create react app is deprecated today but the adoption of create react app started declining like 3 4 years back wheat started become very popular parcel started become very popular so these were two again great build tools that were used to create a lot of front end react applications okay so now react is recommending two ways either you build your own framework right migrate to a build tool or you migrate to a framework directly now what kind of frameworks let's just explore so react is saying that we have deprecated create react app now if you are trying to use create react app then you will get an error something like this now they are saying that migrate to a framework and they are recommending three frameworks that is nextjs react routers framework and expo right this expo is very popular in the react native community if you are building a mobile application and you want a framework for that react native framework then expo is a go to way of creating uh, mobile applications but next js is very very popular and it's kind of the most popular framework right now which uses react behind the scenes so they are saying go use next js now the other way is either if you don't want to choose a framework then what you can do is you can use wheat parcel or rs build rs build i have not personally used it a lot so i i don't have much comments over it but wheat and parcel is really good you can just go and start as uh, you can start setting up your project and use wheat and parcel as the build tools for creating your own framework so either you can choose a framework like nextjs or you can build your own you know framework kind of a thing using wheat or parcel as the build tool along with other libraries okay so this is what they are recommending now now let me tell you there is a very important question that you have to ask before you choose between the two now react has said okay create react app has been deprecated now there are two ways either a framework or migrate to a build tool two ways right so now in these two ways you need to first ask yourself a very important question that do you really need a framework or not i would suggest you to go over here and read right read this and try to question yourself you know this video will become a very long if you if i try to like you know discuss this do i need a framework into deep details this video will become a very long but i would say that always before you are starting a project ask yourself do you really need a framework do will you really need the all capabilities that is inside that framework otherwise using a framework becomes a headache so always question yourself do you really need a framework if the answer is yes then go to a framework otherwise build your own framework okay or build your migrate to a build tool and create a project using wheat right now again so this blog also says there were a lot of limitations with build tools right and create react app and build tools had a lot of limitations and the limitations are the same that i discussed with you that routing is a limitation right you need to use external packages react router or other li routing libraries to manage routing and then you know data fetching was a problem and then you know code splitting was a problem because see if you are building a production ready application and if you are building for scale then you definitely need to do code splitting and it used to become a very big bottleneck if you are using a create react app right but there are different libraries that you can use to you know uh, do code splitting there is route based code splitting also that you can do there are so many things that you can do but you have to do it yourself the framework will not give you that uh, you know uh your own you know re create react app will not give you out of the box code splitting uh 
so that is why you had to do it yourself these were a little bigger problems problems were also error handling you know like accessibility server side rendering and a, there were a lot of problems right caching authentication these were a little problems and you had to use different different libraries to handle all of this yourself okay so that is why now react has started recommending frameworks to you and they recommend nextjs react router and expo for building new projects okay so that is what react is recommending so now i want to take a moment and talk about a very important topic that is suppose if you are a beginner and if you are beginning your front end learning journey if you are starting to build front end projects then should you use a framework or should you use a build tool let me tell you if you will go to react's official website suppose if you go to react.dat official website and you click on learn react so if you go to installation they give you two ways either you can create a react app using full stack frameworks like nextjs so one thing is frameworks the second thing is building a react app from scratch using vit or parcel right vit parcel or rs build so now if you are a beginner if you are a learner what should you do should you choose a framework or should you create a react app from scratch so i would suggest my dear friends as a teacher as a well wisher well wisher of yours i would 100% recommend you all to not go with any framework okay if you are a if you are a beginner if you are a front end developer who is just starting to learn front end never ever go with a framework because you know framework restrict you to because see these frameworks are very opinionated right they you know you have to do things in their certain way using a framework to build a production ready application is good i would recommend it but i would never recommend a beginner to go ahead with frameworks when you are learning stuff when you are learning stuff all always go with this second option build a react app from scratch okay so basically build your own framework read this carefully build your own framework this is what i am trying to say so basically if you are learning something if you are starting learning react if you are a student if you want to become a good front end developer always build your own framework use tools like vit right to vit is a build tool okay so use vit to create a react project then get routing in place then get authentication in place then get data fetching in place then use all of it right and build your own framework that is what i would recommend and that is why whenever i teach in my courses also i never recommend anybody to just go and learn nextjs see nextjs is cool i know that nextjs is becoming very popular i know that i understand everything but react is a prerequisite to go to nextjs i am not discouraging you to go to nextjs i recommend people to learn react then move to nextjs it's a very good step but if you directly jump onto nextjs without learning react then it becomes a problem because see things have been obfuscated things have been abstracted in these frameworks and when you abstract these things then you don't get inner deep knowledge about the things that are going on behind the scenes okay so if you want to learn behind the scenes just dive deep into react first then move on to a framework okay so if you are a learner if you are a front end developer i would suggest you to go ahead with vit i would suggest you to go ahead with parcel when i was teaching react js in my namaste react course also so i created you know i taught students to create your own framework and write everything from scratch using parcel so the project which i created in namaste react which i taught my students i used parcel over there and then when i created another project i used vit in one of the projects i used create react app also in one other project one another project okay so i used vit i used parcel i used create react app now create react app is deprecated but vit and parcel are still there and that should be the go to way if you are learning things up but if you are building a production ready application then it's your choice evaluate whether you really need a framework whether the framework fits in your application then use it otherwise vit is should be the go to way of building the projects learning react js okay 
so that is what i wanted to say now it's very emotional to see create react create react app sunsetting right because i have created a lot of projects using create react app and i would highly recommend you to read this article it's a good article there are a lot more things right uh, mentioned over here uh, just write on google sunsetting create react app and you will reach to this article read about it and uh, go to these links also see every you know build a react app from scratch so every link is taking you to another blog and read more about this and uh, that will make your front end learning journey very smooth that's all my dear friends i wanted to make a video to announce this to everyone whoever has not uh, got this news already so thank you so much for watching this video uh, and if you have want to learn react in a proper way i would recommend you to go ahead and check out namaste react course i would put the link in the description and that is a go to way i recommend to learn react js always build your own framework if you don't even want to take my course that's completely okay but always if you are learning how react works so learn by building a react app from scratch not using a framework because you know i have seen now students what they are doing is they they are just spreading the news that uh, nobody is using react now move to react next js that's okay but react js is a prerequisite for next js understand that that is what i wanted to tell you through my words react is a prerequisite for next js learn react js first then move to next js that is when you will be able to understand next js better okay and uh, that would be a great learning journey for you okay so that's all in this video my dear friends if you like this video then give it a thumbs up comment down whether you are upset of create react app getting deprecated or you are happy about it and what are you using in production these days are you using next js are you building your own framework what are you doing i want you all to comment down below in this video and i will see you in the next video very soon bye bye